This is the Victor 16-83-54. The 16 indicates that it's a descendant of the Series 6, which means it has a, a full keyboard for the input. There is an identical uh, Series 17, which is a descendant of the Series 7, and those have uh, 10 key keyboards. I showed the Series 6 and the Series 7 in a previous video. And there you can see that they had uh, uh, switches up here for the subtotals and totals. Uh, that's now moved over here to, to buttons. And similarly a switch up here that used to be for clearing the keyboard and for repeating additions. Those have been moved to buttons down here. It's a very straightforward machine to use. It has electric drive. It has an electric motor and that's what the um, 5 in the last number of the model designation uh, indicates. So it's easy to use. You just enter a number and if you press this big button here, the plus button, it gets uh, printed and added to the main register. Enter another number and it gets added as well. The keyboard is automatically cleared each time. To uh, get the uh, total or subtotal you press one of these buttons. Pressing the S button for subtotal it will print the current uh, register value with an S at the end and it would leave that value alone. The register still contains that value. So you can continue doing further additions. And press the result and see that it's added that as well. If you press the T button, the total button, it will... Uh, ah, yeah, because I just did the subtotal, it will now clear it. But um, yeah, normally when you uh, have done some additions and you press the T button it prints the current total with a T at the end and it also clears the internal register. But if you press, the, as I just did earlier, if you press the T button just after you've done the a subtotal it's, uh, it won't print the number again. Um, the N button is non-add, so if you enter a number and press the N button it prints it with an N at the end, but it doesn't add it to the main register. Unfortunately, this doesn't work on this machine. It will actually... Uh, yeah, it usually then uh, also adds it to the main register, but uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't always work on this machine. Uh, if you uh, have this R button uh, pressed down, then the keyboard will not be cleared. So you can then add the number you've entered several times in succession. Uh, for uh, small multiplications, for example. Or if you are adding up uh, prices and you sell several items of the same price. And so I've entered this number, added this number five times, so the result is five times that number. As you can see, it's very easy to use. And uh, it's also very easy to take off the uh, top cover. And uh, yeah, that's done so that you can have easy access to the uh, to the ink ribbon inside. Um, there are just two sliders underneath here, one on each side, and if you pull those uh, backwards, it uh, you can lift off the uh, the cover. Unfortunately, the uh, spindle for the paper is a bit too wide uh, for for the opening, so I'll also remove that spindle. And now this can come off easily, like that. You now have access to the, uh, to the ink ribbon right here, 
so you can uh, remove those if you need to. Here it is, here's the uh, very simple uh, ink, uh, ink ribbon. And the same on the other side over there. When the cover is off, uh, the machine no longer uh, functions. There's a small switch at the back here that gets depressed by the, by the cover. So um, at the moment, if you press any button, it won't, it won't go through a full cycle. If this is pressed down, then it does. Uh, yeah, so it's a very simple machine to use and, uh, and work with. There we go. And let's put this back. So uh, that was the Victor 168354. Thank you for watching.